Good morning, YouTube. Um, this is uh, my 1950 Farmall Super A. Um, I don't normally do these videos um, where I narrate, um, so forgive me if I'm a little awkward at doing this, but I had a request to show my three-point hitch uh, setup on this Farmall. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and oblige. Um, anyway, this is a... Uh, just kind of a DIY setup that I came up with. Um, I actually used most of the parts from a um, Ford 9N or 2N, even the 8N, I think it's the same kind of setup. Um, it uses, yeah, the Ford uh, lower arms, lower lift arms, the adjustable arms, and actually even uses the upper arms so what I, um, this is the original Farmall A rock shaft. Um, normally it would have longer arms. Um, so what I did, uh, these Ford lift arms are actually uh, splined and they slide onto the, the Ford shafts. So what I did, I just sliced them in half and kind of butted, up, butted them up against the original Farmall rock shaft. And where they intersected with the farmall shafts i just kind of cut it there and welded everything up to kind of triangulate it and actually what i did with the little arms the original arms that stuck out is that what i used uh, for the 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 top lift mount they're just welded i put a a bar that goes across the seat mounts uh, that bolts on and then just welded those arms um to that uh, unfortunately, I miscalculated a little bit, so it's a little close to the seat, so I had to make some uh, um, risers for the seat, but it works out pretty good. It actually makes, I think, the seating position on the far mall um, a little more comfortable. Um, anyway, for the bottom mounts, um, there's these plates that bolt to where the original... Um, uh, toe um, attachment goes to so um, I just put a bar across there and I actually made it so it kind of one slides into the other that way you just take these pins out when you unbolt this you can just kind of move it in a little bit it makes it a lot easier to uh, um, bolt in and out if you need to um, and it has these uh, just held by chains for you know so it doesn't sway back and forth when you're actually using an attachment um, and that's about it. If you have any questions, just post a comment. I'll do the best I can to answer those. Till next time.